Well, that's not a good look. Dungeons & Dragons owner lays off 1,100 staff two weeks before Christmas to keep Hasbro healthy. The reason why this title jumps out at you is because of Dungeons & Dragons. At least here in the US, D&D is the number one most popular tabletop RPG out there, and arguably the second most influential board game out there. And that means Hasbro owns one and two. The geeks and nerds are worried about what's going to happen in the future, and I'm here to say, it might not be as bad as you think. This is Hasbro we're talking about. They've got a pretty stacked roster. D&D, Magic the Gathering, Monopoly, and we'll say whatever you want, but My Little Pony, those are all very popular brands and they continue to grow. Hasbro would have to be stupid to try and gut their winners. Now some of these brands are already dead, like Action Man, Gem and the Holograms, and Stretch Armstrong. They've been dead for decades. More than likely, these budget cuts are going to be made to projects that are on the decline, such as G.I. Joe, Peppa Pig, and Power Rangers. I know, I know, please don't hurt me, I love Power Rangers too, but let's be real, they've been irrelevant for 20 years and the only reason why they have any popularity left is because Jason Frank makes cameos. According to this article, Hasbro dropped 800 people in January, and they're going to drop another 1,100, which will bring their total employee count to 5,300. Sometimes it is a hard decision and you need to let people go in order for a company to survive. Problem is that there's the typical BS where the CEO gave themselves a $9 million bonus. I understand the rage behind it, which is going to be a driving force behind the boycott that's happening. But when it comes down to it, D&D, Wizards of the Coast, Magic the Gathering, I think they're going to be fine. But if you really want to stick it to Hasbro, Paizo has a really good tabletop RPG. Huh? Huh?